Speaking of breakfast, we're revving up this morning with a special edition of Breakfast with Friends on the Road. Yeah, Lawrence Jones is live from the Buffalo Chip Campgrounds in Sturgis, South Dakota. And he's joined by their governor, Christy Nome, and some bikers, Lawrence. Good morning. Morning. Hey, good morning. Good morning, family. Of course, we got the superstar governor of South Dakota, Christy Nome. Yeah. Who's the hey. top? How does it feel to continue this tradition here in South Dakota with Sturgis? Yeah, this is fantastic. This is every year like a reunion. People come from all over the world to come to Sturgis and spend some time together, fellowship, uh, and, you know, ride motorcycles, enjoy the beauty of our state. And what they're really doing is embracing freedom. That's right. And they love the country. It's they do. Clear. Yeah. Uh, Governor, I got to ask you, because there's been a lot of governors that mm -hmm are running for president yeah, now. Almost all of them. Um, almost all of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, you know, a lot of people were pushing you mm -hmm. to run. And so I got to ask you, why did you decide not to run for president? Well, the fact is, none of them can win as long as Trump's in the race. Wow. And that's just the fact. So why run if you can't win? So mm -hmm. I've probably run 10 statewide races. I've won them all. I've never lost. If I get into a race, I'm going to win. So that's just how we do it. And, you know, President Trump did some great things for our state and for our country. As governor, and everybody should be grateful for this, he let me do my job. When he was president, he let me do my job, and I appreciate that. So um, we, the yeah. Biden doesn't do that. Yeah. 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 Definitely, definitely didn't show up for Sturgis as well. Yeah. Um, Joe Biden didn't. I got to ask you. <laughs> Um, Thank goodness, right? I think he'd be a little offended by some of your <laughs> flags. <laughs> I don't think it, I saw a few on the walk over here. Yeah. <laughs> some had different names. Yes, they do. There's different names for Joe Biden That's here. Right. Yep. Governor, so um, you, you haven't endorsed in this presidential yeah. race, and this is a contentious yeah. race. President Trump is going to be planning on coming here. Yes, to he is real soon. Rally. Should we be expecting some sort of endorsement? Because everybody wants you to endorse. Well, if President Trump's coming to South Dakota, you're going to expect a fun, uh, eventful um, rally. You know, what's interesting about that is that those tickets went on sale, and within a day they were sold out. Mm -hmm. So, And people were thrilled that he's coming. We're excited that he's coming to help our Republican Party. But, you know, he is inspirational. People always show up to hear something interesting. And, yeah, you'll hear something from me, too. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Governor, also, you know, the last time I was here, we were doing a diner together. You said, look, I'm focused on South Dakota. Mm -hmm. And that is that remains true, I think. Mm -hmm. If President Trump or any of the nominees, and you think President Trump is going to be the nominee, offered mm -hmm. you the vice presidential yes. spot. Mm -hmm. yes. A lot of people yeah. are asking, they want to, is that something that you would take? Uh, you know, he hasn't asked me. So uh, we'll cross that bridge. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. You know, I don't really answer hypotheticals. Mm -hmm. um, he's going to need somebody that's a good partner that's willing to fix this country, and it's not going to be pretty. So uh, we've got a lot to do. I got to shift to Joe Biden because he's going to the Arizona uh, Southern uh, the state, talking a lot about climate change and all these other issues, but he's not going to the Southern. No, Lawrence, what he did is he went there to steal more federal land and make it federal land to shut down our economy and shut down our natural mineral production. And he didn't even bother to take a trip to the Southern border to see the real crisis that we're dealing with. Why is so, it? You know, uh, he doesn't want to talk about it. He wants to ignore it. He wants to fundamentally remake this country. Uh, I don't think he believes in our republic. I truly believe the policies that he has embraced are socialist. They're socialist policies, and they would destroy America. So that open border is destroying this country. And he talked a lot about our Native American tribes. What he's doing is destroying our Native American tribes. Because right here in South Dakota, we have the cartels set up on our tribal lands. And they're facilitating human trafficking. They're facilitating drug trafficking throughout this country. So by him ignoring that, he's destroying our tribal areas. We've got so many people that live in these reservation areas that can't be safe at night. Their kids aren't are safe walking out on their streets, and it's because the DOJ and because President Biden aren't doing their job to keep them safe. They're sovereign nations, and it's their job to help partner with them to keep them safe. I have no jurisdiction there, so I can't go there and help like they can, like their job is. Governor, thank you so much for spending some time oh. with me. It's been Absolutely. Good to see you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, that Guys, the governor has been hiding something from me. I got a little tip that she brought. I asked her about getting yeah. some boots. 
and I, I looked under the table and, and look at this right here. Wow. She got us a wow. A Lauren so, special. I'm bringing these back to New York City to show y'all how we do it yeah. down here. Yeah. <laughs> Some South Dakota boots for Lawrence. Yeah, They're beautiful. You bet. Very you nice. Does the governor know how many shoes you have in your closet? <laughs> he said he wanted South Dakota cowboy boots, so we went out last night and found a pair. We know he collects shoes. He collects. He Does has he really? cowboy That's boots, great. and he loves tennis shoes. He has you, how many? How you many make pairs? him sound like the Emilda Marcos of, <laughs> of cable. I, uh, I have over. Listen, 200. he's a he's a size 13. That's not easy to find, Lawrence. <laughs> no, That's not there easy to find. <laughs> yeah, way, yeah, yeah, we found it. We have 87,000 new IRS agents. Make sure That's you declare right. them.